I'm going to be answering questions about myself. I was challenged to do this. to Gary for almost 46 years. It'll be 46 years in August. What? Such a Tom Batchers. Oh! It is! I'll get out of that. Oh, yeah. Did you say you just made a mess in here? What do you think? Do you think we have a mess in here? Is this a mess? This is a big mess. This closet is beyond a disaster. It's a really big mess. What's this? I, okay. Can you go find Grandpa? Grandpa? Okay, I'm gonna show you some of the new things I got this week. And I can make a big excuse about why this was necessary, but it was completely unnecessary. Although it was just something I wanted to do. This is going to sound insane. Now, whether that store makes this video or not is another thing. What can I say? a few thoughts but you know I was had my doubts and let's let's talk about it I've had really weird conversations with myself the alcoholic shouldn't go into the bar so these are the kind of conversations I'm having with myself it's very very strange I'm in that generation where you wear hairspray if I don't wear hairspray my hair grows straight down I've never had this reaction to a grocery store before I almost really I almost feel like they've divorced me and left me I don't know that this is so strange I don't even know what to think of myself right now here's the thing I'm old enough to know that anything I might imagine today for five years will be completely wrong because five years from now my life will be completely different than I ever thought it could be. So I've learned to just to be happy with what happens. What I'm hoping for five years is that I have more subscribers because that will be more people that I have the opportunity to meet and get to know. And I'm hoping I'm putting out really good content that you enjoy and I'm learning from you and you're learning from me and if I happen to be making money I guess that would be great but that's not my main goal it's more than a hobby though I have learned today it's more than a hobby YouTube is helping me make a life so when I say I'm making a home and making a life wow I was not kidding about that that's what I'm doing on this channel I'm making my home and making my life and you are all part of that and so thank you very much is what are my three best traits and what are my three negative traits? I hate that question about negative traits. It reminds me of the question that some people ask in an interview. What is your greatest weakness? If you ever interview for a job with me, you will not get asked that question. I will try to find out the good things about you. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be honest about it. So the number one best trait I think I have, I don't know if it's the number one, but it is a positive trait. I think it I have is my ability to focus. This has allowed me to do very well in school and in business and at work. I get a tremendous amount done. I learn things very, very quickly. I enjoy learning and being able to focus really helps me. It helps me be a good writer. It really helps me do anything. But it's also a negative, so it goes on my negative list because sometimes I'm so focused, I miss that people are talking to me. One of my coworkers who's a manager of a team had to tell her team, look, if you see her walking by, with that look on her face she's really thinking hard about what she's doing so if 
you call out to her and she doesn't hear you. She's not ignoring you. She's not mad at you. She's just thinking really hard. And I don't like that. I don't ever want people to feel bad by anything I do. And this is not me being a people pleaser. I don't know that I am a people pleaser. I used to be. Yes, I did. Now I just have a very strong desire to be charitable, which is the love of Christ, and compassionate with people because I love people. I like to talk to people. If you comment in one of my videos, I will talk back to you because I enjoy getting to meet people more than anything. That's my favorite thing about YouTube. Another good thing about me is that I'm faithful. I'm faithful to my God. I have a strong, strong love of Heavenly Father and of Jesus Christ. I always have my entire life, as long as I can remember even as a very small child. And so that is so important to me and that relationship is so important to me that it's important you know that about me. And so anyone who is close to me in my life knows that because I cannot stop myself, nor do I want to, talking about the goodness of God and how he answers my prayer and supports me. And I have such strong faith in Jesus Christ and his role in my life and what he's done for me and gratitude. I don't ask that people believe as I do. I will love and accept them no matter what, but I do ask them to accept me and be kind to me about that. And if they're not, then you know, if they just don't like somebody like that, then they can go on and be happy in their own life. Another thing about me, oh, I would say that I'm a happy person. Now, I haven't always been a happy person. I've had times when I've gone through major depression, but even under there, there was still a uh, basic optimism because I do believe there's a purpose in life that I'm here for a reason and that helped me get through just devastating times but because I'm a happy optimistic person it's helped me develop a very strong tolerance for pain and I've been through many 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 health challenges and some very some I have not told you about I did a video about chronic illness but I did not talk about my entire health history my husband will now tell a doctor look the fact that she's talking about pain means it's bad I I just choose. This is a choice I've made because I spent so many years not choosing this, but I have made a choice to be grateful for every day the way it is and to be happy and optimistic and find the upside. When I'm talking about things at work that maybe things aren't going so well or I've had a difficult time or other people have a difficult time, it's very common for me to discuss this thing and then to say, but on the upside, so I, I do always look for the upside and it's made me a much happier person. So I'm glad to report that I am basically a very happy, optimistic person. The next thing is something that could be good or bad. I'm not sure which column to put it in. And you see, I'm winding around. Maybe that's one of my bad traits, but I'm authentic. So I don't have the ability to pretend to be who I'm not, which is why sometimes you'll see kind of a mess behind me when I'm filming. It's because it really doesn't occur to me, oh gosh, I ought to stop and clean that up first. That's why sometimes I say, well, if I was a real YouTuber, I would have done this. I would have prepared more, but I am just who I am. I can't pretend to be anything else. Some people say that I'm funny. I'm not intending to be funny. I'm just being myself and I'm not editing myself out. So when you see a video, that's me. Let's see. Something bad. Sometimes I interrupt people and I've been working very hard on this, especially for the last two years. I don't want to make people bad and when you interrupt them, it does make them feel bad. And so if I catch myself doing it, I will always say, oh, I'm sorry, I've interrupted you. And so I've learned that sometimes people just don't notice, but I notice. And then I notice sometimes when I'm interrupting, I turn the conversation around to me and then I'll suddenly go, Oh no, I've just made this all about me. I'm so sorry. So I consider that a negative thing. I am working on it because I don't need to be making people feel bad because I am so excited to talk about what I'm gonna talk about. Okay, I think I've covered that enough.